Hello YouTube, hello everybody. This is my follow-up video to the EP Ever charger problem. This is in comparison with the Smart Solar from Victron Energy. Here we have the Victron Energy, the one in the right. In the middle we have the combined power of the two and in the left we have the EP Ever charge control right here. So, as we can see, uh, we are now charging the battery with the battery with 528 watts the Victron energy is giving out 400 and almost 40 watts 438 watts you can see here and the EP ever is outputting only 123.37 watts even though this the Victron energy has uh, two panels in series uh, no, the Victron energy has two panels in parallel and the EP ever has two panels in series so this shouldn't the, the input of the solar panel shouldn't be at 14 volts or what 14.51 volts it should be around 60 somewhere around there so here we can see that uh, it's charging with 31 amps here we're charging the Victor Energy is charging, charging with 42 amps and the uh, EP ever is charging with 9 amps, 9.2 amps only. So, if I reset the EP Ever charge controller, I think it's gonna run okay for, for a little while. Check this out. I'm gonna reset it now. Now I have resetted it, let's see. Here now we can see we're only charging with 406 watts, 414, uh, they're not exactly the same, I don't know why. So here now the solar panel is 65 volts, not 14 volts, it's uh, at 0, 0.0 amps at the moment and 0 0.13 watts at the moment because it's not yet started to charge. But when it starts, you can see it here, right here, on, on the main, uh, in the middle. You can see it in the BMS, in the middle. So still we have 65.42 volts, 0 0.15 amps. So we're not yet started to charge. But now I think it's rising. So here we have 608 watts now, 60 volts, 2.86 amps, we're charging with 642 watts, this is so annoying I, I keep have to manually um, refresh the EP ever one, the Victor Energy works without cables and it refreshes itself, this one is Bluetooth, the Victor Energy and the EP ever is cabled. So now we're charging with 675 watts combined from the two charge controllers. The EP ever is now running hmm, at 54.6 volts and 5.1 amps, 278 watts. So much better than before, it's a double and something more than before. We're charging at 600, 683 watts combined, so everything is working perfectly for the moment. Now the EP ever is at 54.67 volts at the solar panel input and is charging with 5 amps and 282 watts and is charging the battery with 20 amps. The Victron Energy is charging the battery with 32 amps. So much much better than the EP ever even though the panels are the same. The only difference is the Victor Energy has them in parallel and the EP ever has them in series. You just saw the, the, the Victron Energy charge controller tracking again to see the maximum power point. So yeah, now we're charging with 691 watts. The EP ever is charging with 21 amps at the battery and the PV input is at 54 volts 
and 5.23 amps much better than before clearly and 287 watts uh, almost triple the energy that it gave before so this is why I said to people not to bother buying EP ever products because they really don't work as they were intended to uh, I bet you don't have time like me to keep resetting them and keep checking if they're charging and working properly you would, you would like a system that works perfectly every time right? Yeah, well me too so now we're charging with 691 watts, before we were charging with 500, um, yeah the difference is quite, uh, quite big. We're charging now with 20 amps at the battery, 20.6 amps at the EP Ever charge controller and 280 watts and the PV input is now at 55.41 volts much larger than before, before it was at 14 volts it was actually working as a PWM controller not MPPT controller but I bet you could find a PWM controller much cheaper than the EP Evers that say that they are MPPT but uh -huh, I'm not so sure about that they seem to have all the components that, that are required to be MPPT but they, the software for them is just terrible so I, I, I would um, advise people to just stay away from these products so China, you failed again. I mean only with these products, not in general. So thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and buy Victor Energy if you want a good charge controller or, or any of the upper class ones. The cheap ones, they are cheap for a reason. This is the reason why they are cheap, they don't really work or they don't work all the time. Thank you very much for watching and see you later.